Welcome back to Software Inc, everybody. I hope you're having a good one because today, today, today could make or break my little company. And by that, I mean, it will either make the company or we're gonna go back to doing contract work and we're probably going to break Sanford Stevenson's career by firing him because he's useless, as has been mentioned before. So we're gonna be releasing Roaster Coaster. If you didn't watch the first episode of this series, you're not really going to know what Roaster Coaster is, and you're not necessarily going to know why I've named a game Roaster Coaster. It should be self-explanatory. It's quite an obvious one that if you put it in a certain accent, such as Newcastle-ish in England, you get Roaster Coaster. All right, just there, that's your context. That's all you're getting. So let's go ahead and promote this uh, embedded system contract, and let's go ahead and finish it for $61,000, which I'm absolutely here for. And let's print. Print? I don't own any printers. Am I sure I want to print? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. I thought I was... Oh, I don't think I told the publisher to handle printing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. It's terrible. It's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. All right, my releases. Roaster Coaster. Roaster Coaster. Let's, uh, let's, let's hope for some good stuff here. Digital distribution, utilities, manufacturing, software printing. Do I have to print it? Is that, is that a thing I have to do? Do I have to order copies? So if I go to my releases, I guess I probably do, right? I probably need to order some copies. Oh man, I am not looking forward to this. <laughs> I'm not I'm not looking forward to it. Uh let's order let's order uh 2500 copies, right? 5 grand is what that's going to cost me. I'm here for it. That should be all right. So, let's just double check. Do we have units in stock right now? We have 2500 in stock. Okay. I don't know how the marketing's going. It's sparse, which is I guess to be expected. Okay, well, let's uh, let's call cleaning and call IT support to make sure the place is clean and the computers are okay. And I'm not going to start developing anything yet. I'm going to go to contract work and I'm going to latch on to an embedded system is what I'm going to do. Because frankly, I don't have any faith that uh, Rosta Costa is, is going to do much for us. So we'll start working on an embedded system and let's just see what happens. It's the end of September. Everyone's gone home. And we didn't make any money. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear. Marketing is unavoidable right now. It sold 87 units. 10 of those were refunded. So that's okay. That's okay. I'm here for it. We have 87 active users. I'm, I'm here for it. I'm not sure how we have 87 active users when 10 of those were refunded. That sounds like 10 people probably bought it to, uh, you know, rip the code off the disk and, and keep a copy. But, you know. That's fine. If they if they enjoy the game, then they enjoy the game. And marketing has cranked up a little bit. So hopefully, I mean, I mean, hopefully we maybe see more sales this month. You know, maybe maybe now that marketing exists, it makes money. It isn't. <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> it's not making money. Uh, <laughs> it's gone up to what 153. Okay. Well. I guess technically it is making money. It made four and a half thousand. It made 3.6. Can I, can I do anything that's going to, like, can I port the thing? We can give it to you guys, right? So we can give it to you guys. That's the only team we got. Can I, I don't know, port it to like this or like this? It doesn't really, I don't really, <laughs> don't really know what to port it to, to be quite honest. Um, let's go for Playbase 5. It's a console, right? We'll do, we'll do that. We'll see if we can get this thing to a console and see if that maybe gives us some users. We would, I, I would like to think it would, you know? I'd like to think that porting the game to a console would give us some some players, but I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It is hard mode after all, so we will certainly see. And oh boy, oh boy, did it sell anything? It, you know what? Actually, 7,000 sales in October is, I mean, it's not good but it could be none, right? That's that's how I'm gonna choose to look at that. It could be zero. 
So I guess we made money. Now, annoyingly, this port job is actually going to take essentially forever, given that we don't have the greatest team working on this. Uh, we might even want to bring the priority down a little bit so that we are still staying on top of support tickets for Roaster Coaster. It has 195 active users. It is not really making much in the way of sales anymore. It made, you know, three grand in December, so it could be better. It could definitely be better. I'm, I am genuinely hoping that uh, porting it does help us out a little bit. I'm also considering making an expansion for uh, Roaster Coaster, such as the Jumbo Pack. It doesn't really matter what it's called. And we could give it, you know, a bit of gameplay. We could give it a little bit of story. We could give it a little bit of gameplay, you know? And this would take less than a year. We have everyone we need for it. It is going to have, I guess... It's, it's going to have some fees, right? We're going to have licensing fees and whatnot, but... We'll stick with, I suppose, what we have here. And I guess I'm going to develop it. We'll make this like 12 bucks. And there we go. We'll start working on an expansion for Rose to Coaster, which honestly probably isn't going to take that long. And on top of that, actually, this port job is going a little bit quicker than I thought it would as well. So let's prioritize the port job to get it finished. And then we can prioritize the jumbo pack, which if it's good enough, I have to imagine might get us a couple more sales, right? I would have to imagine it would. It's, it's, it, it better. That's, that's how I'm going to phrase it. It better. Because if it doesn't, I'm going to be slightly upset. It is also getting designed very quickly. You know what? Let's try and make the jumbo pack really solid. Let's, let's see if we can do like a really good thing here. And let's also go and see. Can I update this? So update. So I could bring the tech up to like 1980. I can bring the 2D up. I can bring this up. The 2D editor in question. I mean, if I use this guy, it's probably get license fees. If I use this guy, license fees, but whatever. Less than a year. Source control is that. And it will also have a patch with it. So we'll we'll do that. We'll try and get an update out to make the thing better It's as, as well. So we'll push an update and also we'll push the expansion. And that's that's got to make people excited, right? That's got to. So here's what I'm actually thinking. I'm thinking we're going to push this update as soon as it's finished, which is now. So that's gone out. We have a bunch of fixed bugs. And now we can go ahead and prioritize the expansion, which honestly, eh, I'm kind of thinking that iteration might be the end of it. Ooh, we did actually get some new active users. That's very exciting. We got $4,000 from that little update right there. So we brought the tech level up and people seem to enjoy it. So hopefully, I mean, should we port it again? Would that be an idea? It hasn't actually made any money, but I could probably port it to a thing or two. That might not be, might not be a terrible idea. We could go for this operating system. We, actually, what's got the most active users right now? These two? Let's go for the four systems that have over 100,000 users. That's going to take a while to port to four systems, but... We'll give it a shot, and honestly, I'm just going to start developing this uh, expansion, which annoyingly, I'm going to have to market despite us having a publisher for the game itself. I don't love that we have to do that, but we kind of have to do that. That's just how things are. Also annoyingly, oh man, that is, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money that we're spending. A lot of it's on education as well, which... I guess it's a weird complaint to have, right? My employees are getting better, therefore they're getting educated, and therefore they're getting better. But we just, I don't know that we have the money to sustain all of this education. I also don't know that we have the money to actually market the jumbo pack. That's another concern. <laughs> I just, I don't know that we can do it. I'm also not sure that we should, ooh. All right, a little bit of money right there, not bad. Uh, I'm not sure that we necessarily need to sit on it until it's done i i guess hmm yeah i think we need to market this thing it's gonna come out in it's gonna have to come out in september i think so we'll say september we can you know put together a little 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 press release i suppose we'll prioritize that i don't know how good it's gonna be <laughs> i really don't but we'll see uh let's bring the development down a little bit 
We will promote this guy. And apparently I'm heading for bankruptcy. We'll be fine. We'll be okay. And so September rolls around again and we find ourselves in a bit of an interesting spot. We are working once again on a relatively high profile contract. It's going to get us a decent chunk of change that should see us through the next few months. So we'll go ahead and promote that. We'll fix three bugs and push it out. It's inadequate, but it's $62,000. So I'm here for it. It is also early September. And to be quite honest, I'm just going to, I guess, order some copies of the jumbo pack. I I mean, I don't know how many exactly necessarily. We're also not going to be printing anything so we can cancel this. And well, I, I suppose we'll just release the jumbo pack. It's actually, interestingly, uh, better than the the game itself. So we'll go ahead and order 2,500 uh, copies of this. The marketing campaign, 2,500 as well. Core team can handle that. I'm not expecting a miracle there, but that's fine. And I'm going to say that perhaps... Oh, there's no way. This thing's not going to make... Yeah, I made $7.60. That's... That's a thing, I guess. That's, that's a thing. That's uh, depressing is what that is. Uh, the good news is we're still fixing these bugs. We're still porting the thing. And I mean, marketing is going to be sparse for a while. I don't I don't have the money to have like a high profile marketing budget. I just, I just don't. Uh, so, I mean, this thing has sold two units. Somehow, I don't, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um... Okay, I mean, we have how many how many active users do we have in Ro Roaster Coaster? Three hundred eighty-six. All right, let's bring this marketing budget up to like seventy-five hundred dollars. Let's 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 see how that goes. I'm kind of curious. Let's see if maybe that gets me. I got fifteen dollars from it now. <laughs> Not bad. I'll take it. I don't love that I'm spending ridiculous amounts of money marketing something that's you know for three hundred and ninety-two people, but to be fair, we're in the process of porting it to new new operating systems, so. In theory, we might get some new users, and that's that's what's important. I doubt it. Although it is selling, it's up to 400 active users now. So it's kind of hard to complain about it being up to you know 400 active users. It's it's climbing just slowly. Anyway, let's go back into contracts and let's grab ourselves a couple more things. Uh, an embedded system, for example, might not be a bad idea. We'll give that to me. And we'll accept that work. And honestly, a quick logistics application. We'll give that to Bella. And, uh, you know, they can go to town on that. It shouldn't really be too difficult to get a really quick and nasty logistics application out the door in essentially no time at all. So we'll develop this. It's already like a sixth of the way done. So that should be fine. Uh, we did, unfortunately, just drop by about 40 users on Roaster Coasters. So... I'm not really expecting uh, miracles here. I'm also just noticing that what we're working on is called Flute Sausage. I have... Uh, I have... I have concerns, queries, questions. Uh, all of the above, really. And then chicken meat. That's... yeah. We're, we're working on some weird things, is what we're doing. We are... <laughs> we are definitely working on some weird things. I'm also concerned that I might not actually get this one finished in time. So let's develop it and let's try and, you know, get it across the line there. Because we have like a day. We have like a day to do this. This might hurt my reputation a little bit. I have a feeling we're not going to... I have a feeling we're not going to finish chicken meat. Oh, my company's falling apart. Everything, everything's falling apart. It's terrible. So it's interesting that porting Roaster Coaster to at least one of the four new operating systems has essentially done nothing for it. So I'm going to cancel the port job, and I think we're going to just sort of chalk it up to being a bit of a failure, which sucks, but I think it's also realistic that we kind of sit down and go, you know what, this, this didn't work out. We can't keep trying to beat this dead horse. We need to just move on. And that's what I'm doing. I've taken a pretty high profile logistics application here which is going to pay out a decent chunk of change once it's done and i think i'm going to use that to just work on another thing so we're going to start developing this it really isn't going to take all that long and like i said it is relatively high profile so the payout is kind of fantastic so we'll get it done we'll get that payout you know nothing to really worry about again roaster coaster it wasn't really selling anything for a hot minute there 
it's selling a little bit. But uh, if we look at it, I mean, in terms of products, uh, can I make these can I make these columns smaller? They're really unnecessarily huge. Uh, yeah, it didn't make any money whatsoever. It has 152 active users. It sold over a thousand units. It could be better. It isn't, but it could have been. And it probably still could be. I could update it. We have a bunch of bugs that we need to verify and maybe we do that. Maybe we give it a shot. Maybe we see what happens. But for now, we'll promote this thing and honestly, just finish it. It is outstanding. I got $173,000. That's fine by me. So what we'll do with that $173,000 is we'll go to Roaster Coaster. We'll hit it with an update. We'll bring the systems up to date a little bit. And we don't have a we don't have a, a server to put it on, so we'll just fix the bugs, right? Bring the systems up to date and fix the bugs, and maybe maybe that gives us a few more active users. You know, version 1.2 seems like a an easy win, right? We'll get all these bugs out of here, and and maybe Roaster Coaster is finally going to be worth playing. Maybe not. There's there's a chance it won't be. There's a chance it's still going to be trash. I mean, it's. I feel like we're essentially, you know, polishing a, you know, so, eh, <laughs> it's meh, there's, there's, there's a good chance this is going to fail miserably, but whatever, we'll, we'll push that out there, we fixed every bug that we know of, and I guess, let's go ahead and grab another logistics application, we'll give that to me to handle, we'll accept it, and we'll just get working on it, and again, that's going to be a big chunk of cash if and when we finish it. The only thing I'm curious about is to see if that update to Roaster Coaster brings some active users back. We're at 129 right now. 127. No, is the answer. <laughs> no, no, it did not. It, it did absolutely zero. <laughs> it did nothing. No one cares about this game. All right. The real question then is, is anyone interested in buying the IP? They'll give me $6,700 for it. I mean, that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> I'm not going to sell it because one day I would like to, you know, I, if, if you know me and you know Software Inc., you know I like a narrative. You'll, you know I like a good story. So one day I would love to bring Rose to Coaster back and, you know, 20 years from now, 30 years from now, we bring it back and it's like, you might remember Roaster Coaster, the failed theme park management game from 1981. Well, here we are in 2021, 40 years later, with Roaster Coaster 2. I think that would be cool. I'm going to be honest. I, I think that would be a good story. It's not necessarily what's going to happen, but I think it would be a good story. Also, develop this thing and uh, let's just try and get that money out of here a little bit sooner. I'm not really interested in spending the full time on this contract. I want it done. I want the money. And I want to work on... Oh, God. What are we going to work on next? <laughs> what are we going to do next? So we failed at making a game. Maybe an audio tool? Or like a 2D editor? I think a 2D editor is probably the best thing to go for, right? We could use a new framework to save on certain royalties. Yeah, because this this needs these want like percentages of the royalties, which is kind of wild to me. It might make it slower though. Might make it slower. Let's let's give it a shot. We'll see what happens. Uh price-wise, we'll deal with that in a second. I guess in terms of features, I mean, let's go with text rendering. That seems like it's, that does want more programmers. I don't know that I have enough people to do this. <laughs> I'm going to be quite honest with you. I don't, I don't know that I'm going to be able to do this. I don't know if I, I have the staff for it, but we'll see. Uh, let's go for beautify. That's not really going to do much for me. Vector graphics. Vector graphics is a pretty big one. Oh god, I'm about to make Vector again, aren't I? I'm about to make the same... I'm about to make the same IP that I made the first time I played Nerdsoft this year. Um, Brush, Stroke, Smoothing, and Vector Graphics. I mean, this is 51% interest already. That's not bad. It's it's really... It's, it's not that bad. Brush Presets, 64%. Okay. I'm going to go with that. And then for system, I mean, oh, I don't know that I can, I don't know that I can really do too much more here. I don't, we don't have enough programmers to do this. We still don't really have enough programmers to do this. 
So we're going to keep this relatively simple. I'm going to make it like 45 bucks. And we need a good name for it. Photo Studio, Picture Stop, Frame Premium, Vector Studio. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder where that came from. Uh, Frame Cut, Vector Scape, Final Suite. What about Paint Suite? Right? We're Nerdresoft. Wait, no, because Microsoft did Paint. What about, what about Bucket? Right? Bucket. And then, you know... If it fails, you know that there's going to be some magazine somewhere. Nerdresoft kicks the bucket, right? That's, that's, I'm giving them a headline here. So <laughs> we'll go with that. And the, uh, the framework for it is going to be bucket all. Yes, <laughs> that's, yes, that's what it's going to be. Uh, <laughs> as for operating systems, I mean, I'm kind of only really interested in, in active users. So I'm going to go with this one with 1.7 million. And if it works, then we'll port it to some other things. It's going to be about a year to make this, which is fine. Uh, we will auto balance this to be 76% interest. And that seems fine. Sanford is specialized in 2D editors. So I'm okay with this. And in terms of a publisher, I mean, we need printing. We need marketing. So we're going to go for those. I'm not really interested in funding. Although they are giving me a year and a half and also $69,000. But they would take a good chunk of royalties. Thus far, they're just taking a quarter. So we'll start working on this, I think. That seems like the way to go. I can't imagine it's going to take all that long to do. And also, to be fair, this uh, logistics application is... I mean, we're, we're halfway to, to doing it. We got a little bit of time left. We'll get the money from that. And that should honestly see us through for about a year and a half. We're not spending so much every month that we're in trouble. I just want to be extra safe with regards to, you know money and the, the company and and all that stuff i don't want to go broke that's that's the thing that scares me with this game and that's the thing that scares me with games like this in general from a youtuber point of view right it's i'm sitting here i'm playing this i'm recording it the first episode hasn't gone out yet as i'm recording this which is kind of standard for the first few episodes of a series like this and there we go 142,000. i'll take that uh my point being I'm sitting here, I'm having a lot of fun, and I'm hoping that you are as well. Again, I haven't put the episode out, so I don't know. But it's terrifying, the idea of failing. Because if I do, you know, you get episode one, you get episode two, and then episode three is like, all right, that was a fun series, I'll see you next time. Or I just reload the save and, you know, pretend it didn't happen. Which I'm not saying I've done that a few times, but I've, I've done that a couple of times. <laughs> not just in this game, but there's a few games where... You know, I'll, I'll, I'll play for an hour and fail miserably and then reload the save and record the episode like nothing happened. It's, it's, <laughs> I'm not proud of it, okay? <laughs> I'm not, well, I am a little bit. Anyway, we are over halfway done with the initial design phase on Bucket. I'm kind of thinking that what we do with this thing is, I mean, it's December of 1984 that it needs to go out. I don't think I'm all that interested in the design phase, to be quite honest with you. I think what I'd rather do is try and get the development side of things to be as good as possible. So once iteration one is done, I think, to be quite honest with you, we're just going to push it into alpha and try and get as much marketing behind this as we possibly can. I'm also pretty sure that my employees may or may not be... So your vacation's in August. What are you doing? What, what am I doing? I'm in class. Yeah, so I'm getting an education, which is pretty cool. Can I upgrade my 2D? Is that, a, is that a thing that I can do? I've got a lot of programmer points. I've got some artist points as well. Can I educate me? No, I can't educate me. All right. I can look at my details, though. I mean, fair enough. I, I'm, I'm leveling up here and there, so that's not too bad. I do also, I mean, I've got my private office. I'm getting my royalties. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing okay. I, I think I'm doing okay so far. Also, develop this thing, and it's immediately got eight followers, which is great news. And I suppose, honestly, let's prioritize this over the support for Roaster Coaster, which, quite frankly, I'm just going to cancel support for Roaster Coaster at this stage because it's just, it has less than 100 people playing it. It's, it's not in a good way. I'm also thinking that my idea of bringing Roaster Coaster back someday 
I don't think I can actually... I, I can't sit on it for 40 years, can I? Because eventually... I think eventually doesn't it go into like the public domain or something like that? So... Uh, yeah, I would need to... Oh man, I would I would need to <laughs> I would need to release a new roaster coaster in like the next 20 years. Oh boy. Okay, maybe 2001 we aim for a, a new version of roaster coaster. So something I've decided to do that I've never done before is I have assigned crunch time to the core team and I'm also going to make them bright red because I can. Uh crunch time from what I can gather essentially it gives them a massive boost of productivity, but it will also make them generally quite stressed and tired and frustrated and, and annoyed. But it does, I think, eventually give us a little bit of a better performance in terms of their output. So while they're incredibly stressed about crunch, Although I don't think my my founders don't actually seem to get stressed, which is interesting. So my crown my, my my founders could just crunch indefinitely. It's mostly Sanford Stevenson that's kind of miserable and not very happy about crunch right now, and his effectiveness is actually pretty awful. He is uh, he is he's not very happy at all. So that's unfortunate. But at the very least, we are looking to be more complete with bucket than. Uh, than we had been with with good, good old roaster coaster. I'm gonna. I'm so disappointed that didn't work. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all that it didn't work. It's my first software. It's hard mode. You know. It's it's not surprising that it failed miserably. I just. It's one of those things. You hope that it won't. Right. You hope that things will be okay. Also, let me see here. This uh, this thing here is broken and needs maintenance. And the state of the computers is about 70, 78%. So what we'll do is just call cleaning and call maintenance to fix the good old, uh, the good old fridge right there, which is now working just fine. So I'm also noticing that Sanford isn't around. So I'm going to go back and put this team on crunch again. And uh, we'll see how that goes. I don't know if it's going to really do anything with the founders. Maybe the founders don't get affected by crunch because they don't crunch. Maybe that's how it works. Maybe that's that's why Sanford is so stressed. He's the only one that's having to like code at a million miles an hour. Whereas the founders are just sitting there going, eh, I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm not really worried. Yeah, Sanford come in. Look, its effectiveness is 182%. His satisfaction near 200. Good Lord. He really is coding at a million miles an hour. Okay. Well, that's not too bad because the code is, it's, it's getting there. It's never, it's not going to be finished, but... It's getting there, and I think, I think maybe October, maybe day two in October 1984 is when we'll push this thing into beta. We'll give it, you know, a, a two and a bit months of, well, essentially two months of beta where we can fix as many bugs as possible. And from there, we can hopefully release something that's actually going to be kind of successful. Because if it isn't, we're going to be stuck in this bloody garage for however long which i guess is the challenge right you know the ai is a little bit smarter the challenge is higher you know you need people that are able to do this in you know with, with a good amount of creativity which i'm pretty sure sanford doesn't actually have so i might be ever so slightly crippling myself there but we'll see it's it's fine i'm sure i'm sure it'll be fine if i could get the code to like 90% I'd be happy. I don't think it's going to happen. I think like 87 is probably the highest it's going to get. Uh, but the art is at least nearly done. So I have that going for me. I guess now we just, I guess, get the art to 100% and go from there, right? I think that's the most I can, I can hope for. Because it is now October, which means we are very close to launch. And yeah, 87% on code. What are we going to be looking at by the end of today? Can I get 88 is, is that going to be a possibility? It is. Can I get 89? I don't think I can. So I think 88 is where it's going to be. Promote it into beta. And let's just see what happens, really. We're just going to we're just, just gonna see what happens. We can get some bugs fixed. We can push it out in December. And all should be good. What is, what is this? Working hours. Oh, they work from 8 to... 
five. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, and then August was less since July. Okay. Well, fair enough. I have never noticed this calendar and never noticed that it existed before. That's that's new to me. I don't know if that's a new thing in the game, but it is. It's at least new to me. And uh, oh my god, we have a lot of bugs that we're fixing. Good lord. Bucket has to be good, right? Like this, this has to be good. We've got a lot of bugs. Like there's a uh, fixing a lot of bugs. There's two ways you can look at it. Either we made something and it was terrible, or we've made something that was terrible and we're now fixing it. That's how I'm sort of choosing to look at this problem. Over 100 bugs fixed. That's good, right? That's less bugs that we need to fix after release. I don't know if that is how how things are necessarily going to... Have we just been robbed? Oh my god, oh no! <laughs> no, my computers, I needed those! Hold on a minute. They looted 12 items. Can I restore all that, please? Oh my god. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe we just got robbed. <laughs> Alright, release this. Is it any good? Not really. Not really. <laughs> no. Oh god. Uh, do we have any units in stock? We don't. Which is concerning because wasn't the, the publisher is supposed to be handling like printing. Right? That was that was supposed to be how this works. The publisher is handling the print jobs, but it doesn't seem like they are. So I'm gonna order, you know, 2,500 copies. I'm going to immediately go in here with an update to the tech level because that seems like a good idea. And we'll try and get that out there as quickly as we possibly can. It'd be nice if we could get this out there this month, which it kind of looks like we... Well, we can get it out in December. I don't know if we're going to get it out before day one sales, though. But that's okay. We can get this thing updated, you know, in release month at the very least. So let's see, $148,000, 152. We actually, I think, yeah, we made $9,000 from sales. So that's good. With 205 active users, we have some bugs that we can sort out and they're already fixed in the update. So if we could finish the update today, with, instead of, you know, sitting at a meeting, that would have been nice, but unfortunately they didn't. So the update now slides into 1985, but we made money, which is kind of a big deal this is this is kind of a big thing we have 2000 act wait we have 2000 oh my god what how many we have 1200 in stock okay wait that's roaster coaster how many of these are in stock right now 493 order copies please give me another 2500 actually you know what give me 5000 give me 5000 units in stock and then give me an update I can't do expansions to it, can I? That's that's not a thing. But I can, I can update it. Okay, so if I was to update it, it's just going to be bugs. I guess we'll just sit and perpetually work on a bug fix, right? We might as well. We're not doing any new features, but as bugs come in, we can fix them, push them to the update, and then the update can go out in, like, March. That seems fine by me. 167,000, 226,000 just doubled our active users. And as all these issues come in, they go to the update. We fix the bug. We can push the... This is good. We've, we've, we've released something that's actually making money. That's kind of huge. That's kind of a really big deal. Um, I think everyone's done with work. So let's finish that update and send it out there. And we'll queue up another update. And as bugs come in, we'll deal with those. $226,000, $259,000. Oh, that's exciting. Two hundred fifty-six dollars right there. I realize the publisher is taking a big chunk of that, but that... I'm actually okay with this. I'm actually... I'm, I'm quite pleased that we are... We are making some money. Uh, so let me order some copies. Again, I kind of feel like the publisher is supposed to be doing this, but I'll do it. You know, I'm, I'm willing... I'm willing to do this. Oh, man. Okay. I, I am genuinely quite pleased. I, I am genuinely, genuinely quite pleased at this. Uh, as long as we can make some money, Bucket is going to bankroll this company moving forward. I think the next thing we do is some audio software. It's an audio tool, and we'll go from there. Let's, I guess, push an update out. Let's queue up another one, and this should keep people interested. Another 2,000 users just signed up for it. 
so let's let's start development i i could well we could do a sequel we could do a sequel i don't know if doing a sequel would be a good idea but we could do a sequel i mean the first one had this stuff it's gonna be less than a year we're gonna be using our own uh framework bucket all and with that we now have a framework that's gonna give us you know the predecessor so speed modifiers essentially we're getting 35 percent uh faster development on these things so i could throw like text rendering in there i could throw you know brush strokes in there we could throw image effects in there which it would need more programmers but the interest is pretty good so let's go for layers maybe text rendering what's what's actually the most interesting for the people here liquify liquify is good and it's just designers it brings us up to 94 percent too uh so we'll go with we'll go with bucket two i think bucket two is a fine name we'll go for 60 uh we'll go for maybe like 62 dollars on this one and next the operating systems are going to be this one which i think is more recent it has a good number of active users so we'll go for that operating system which is door os door os nerd Resoft always makes doors man come on uh that's fine we'll auto balance this we'll go to the next page it's gonna be less than a year to do bucket two that's fine by me my only thinking is that we do still need i mean they're not it doesn't seem like the publisher is doing printing so we'll just do marketing for the publisher which is less of a cut for them and they're looking at april 86 so we're getting less than a year to do this but i'm willing to give it a shot i think we can do it we'll go ahead and i mean the design phase is already going really quickly we'll just keep doing these bugs as they come in we'll try and push updates really regularly we'll keep people happy with bucket and then bucket two can go out next year with a new feature and i think that's gradually or generally how i'm going to just do things right essentially it's going to be you know procedurally update it so that eventually my framework has a tremendous amount of of stuff meaning that i can develop something like a a 2d editor nice and quickly and i think that's what we're going to do with an audio tool as well but not right now we're not going to do that right now we'll finish this update and we'll queue up another one we're not going to do it right now i think we will focus on bucket two We'll focus on the fact that we're making money off a of bucket. It's relatively popular. It could be ported as well. Might not be a bad idea to port it to uh, this operating system with the 1.3 million users. Uh, so let's see if we can very quickly do that. Let's let's just get an idea for how long this port job is actually going to take. Annoyingly, it's looking like it might take a little bit. And I don't know that we're going to get that done in time. We might, we might be cutting into valuable, valuable development time. And especially we're now starting to miss support as well. So I think what we'll do is we're going to, I think, I think we're going to commit to the idea of bucket two getting ported to other operating systems. Cause I don't think the original is going to make it. We'll let this job go. We'll let it continue since it is a low priority one, but we'll, I'm not expecting a, a miracle here. We'll push that update out. We'll queue up another one. We can bring the uh, the 2D level up quite nicely as well, which is good news. So we'll get that going. We'll prioritize the update since that is going to be kind of important. But I think, I think bucket, I think 2D editors, I think that's kind of where we're at. So that's good. We made money. We're at almost half a million dollars. We started with $20,000. Now we're here.